Hey guys, I'm Cody, headed by Impass Life Pro, and for this tutorial, if you haven't heard about it already, I thought I'd show you how you can get this lens flare working in the SUS V10.2 Preview and Ultra. Looks pretty sweet, right? Alright, let's begin. Two things. First, have the SUS shader unzipped and ready to work with on the desktop. Second, have Catman's lens flare code all in view and ready to be copied. Don't worry, website link can be found in the description. Double click the folder, double click the shaders folder, and locate final.fsh. Using Notepad++, open it up. From here, scroll down to the blank line 55. Open up the website, copy the first bit of code, and paste it in. Next, let's scroll down to the blank line 70. Same idea, open up the website, copy the code, and paste it in. Now, here's where we implement all the adjustable lens flare code. Scroll down to line 865, then open up the website. It may take a few seconds, but copy down the code, and exactly as you see me do on screen, Paste it in. Last step, scroll way down to what is now line 2130. Copy the last line of code and paste it in with the addition of some spaces so that things don't look so off-center. Save and let's take a look at this in Minecraft. So, if this how-to lens flare tutorial was of any use to you, then why not hit that like button? But, if you so happen to have already known about this flare, then how about I offer you up some newfound knowledge? What if I could teach you how to colorize and also adjust the size of any part of the lens flare itself? Scroll down to what is now line 865. To kind of map out a playing field for what you'd be getting yourself into, all this code leading up to main on line 2074 is lens flare code. So let's get to work. We'll start with colorizing globally, then we'll move to specific elements. Lines 949 to 951. If you so happen to be familiar with adjusting watercolor in the SUSE, then you'll be just fine here. This setup uses RGB, so naturally, first value is your red, second's your green, and third's your blue. Here, I'll demonstrate. The default version of the lens flare is, well, pretty red to say the least, so let's fix that. R, 0.4F, G, 0.9F, B, 2.9F. As you did see, I updated the global RGB values to adjust the color of the lens flare. Now, to adjust specific elements of the flare, you will be locating pieces of code like the ones on 976 to 978. The procedure is no different, so you shouldn't come into much trouble on your part. Now, let's get to adjusting the size of the lens flare, and or any parts of it. Globally, you can adjust the full-on size through line 953. For this line of code, smaller numbers increase the size, whereas larger numbers decrease it. I'll show you. I'm going to change the value to 0.8F. To adjust the size of any specific element, the job is different, so this is what you got to do. You'd be expected to locate the numbers directly after flare scale, which in the case of the center white flare section, are 1.7F and 1.7F. The value directly to the left is what you use to adjust the height, and the value on the right adjusts the width. Don't worry, I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to change out the leftmost 1.7F with 20.0F. If this how-to lens for a tutorial with extra adjustments was of any use to you, then please do hit that like button. And before you go, don't forget to check out my channel for some more Minecraft tutorials, some pro quality cinematics, and a bunch of other videos that you shouldn't miss. Anyways, I'm Cody, and this is Past Life Pro, where creativity is always a part of my life, as it will be for yours. Alright, see you guys!